We're live on Bob Arts TV. My name is Ras Asta Black, and as you notice, Olipa Cornwall College in the forward. And we have Dr. Rowe. Dr. Rowe, greetings. Greetings, my brother. How are you doing? Dr. Rowe is principal of Cornwall College right now. You're going through some hard times. Well, I wouldn't say hard. Let's say challenging. Challenging. Yes. Tough. How <laughs> uh, are you weathering? Well, guess what happened? I believe that I was sent here for a purpose, and until that purpose is fulfilled, sir, I'm in the best mood that I could possibly be. <laughs> You're amazing. You know that? <laughs> yes, You're yes. amazing. Yes, I have, you know, I am I'm going ahead doing what I'm paid to do, yes. and that is my focus right now. Mm -hmm. What is the most challenging part of your duty? Well, um, the most challenging part, I would say, is the meddling, so to speak, of certain entities. You know, um, as principal, there are certain duties that I have to perform. But if there are forces that would want to do what you are supposed to do, you know, then there becomes a conflict. Mm -hmm. And um, I am experiencing that right now. Dr. Rowe, you say meddling. Um, you care to say where the meddling coming from? And um, for right now, I prefer not to say, sir. Okay. Um, what, as a principal, speaking generally, what is the duty of a principal? Well, the, the principal's duty is to man the administrative day-to-day -day running of the institution. The operational um, aspect of the institution is under the purview of the principal. Mm -hmm. So anything to do with the day-to-day -day running of the institution, that is the principal's duty. So you're like a CEO of a company? Yes, it's like a CEO of the company, yes. Yes, Chief mm -hmm. Operating Chief officer. officer. Yes, sir. Um, so, as far as, um, boy, that duty is pretty large in, inside of a school like Cornwall College. Yes. We have a f new football field, we have the cadets, we have the management of the teachers. Yes. You have the little clubs, the yes. film club, mm -hmm. the music mm -hmm. club, every, it's yes. a big job. Yes. But Mark, you know, remember that um, we do have persons who are in charge of various sectors. For okay. example, there are two. Um, vice principals, uh, we have events coordinators, you know, we have different coordinator within the school where responsibilities are delegated. However, mm -hmm. the overall oversight of everything yes. come to my office. And then yes. the micromanagement. Yes. Now, those management, your, is your managers working up to par? Um, let, let me say this, as in any organization, you will find persons who pull their feet. Yes. Yes, and Carmel is no exception. True. However, I must say that there are indeed some personnel within the school who work beyond the call of duty yes. to get what we need accomplished. Very nice. Even overlapping sometimes. Even overlapping sometimes, sir. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, this article come out in the newspaper. I don't know if you had a chance to read it. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's fair? Um, let me say, as the article mentioned, mm -hmm. sir, that I prefer not to comment on that okay. right now um, as per instruction of my legal team. Yes. So therefore, you know, afterwards, we probably could dwell in it after everything is settled. Yes, you know, yes. But for now, I prefer not to dwell in that. Mm -hmm. How is us as old boys working with you? Um, you know, <coughs> as you know, there are old boys and they are older boys yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you know um, there is indeed a fraction of the old boy association or old boys that are integral in the running of the school let me mention a few yourself mm -hmm. um, who's concerned about the forward progression of the school mr samuels um, you have other old boys who will come mr bins you know come and they will assist Yes. In, the, in the school, and I applaud those old boys, and I am thankful for their assistance. However, there are other old boys that all they do is sit on the sideline and criticize. And them nothing, no more. Uh, yes, there are plenty. And we all over the world. Yes, I know that. Yes. Yes, and uh, so it is counterproductive. Irrespective yeah. if you like the individual, you know, I don't uh, care less if everybody or persons like me, True. right? But respect the office and respect the work that I am doing. Yes. Yes, sir. 
Um, how is the boys? How is the boys? Um, to tell you the truth, and I, as I have told numerous persons on different occasions, the boys at Cornwall are like any teenager in Jamaica. Yes. Boys will be boys. Mm -hmm. But if we are not um, catering or if we are not doing things that will motivate these boys, then our labor would be in vain. The boys here are just typical teenagers. Like, yes, sir. Yes, like yes. when we you, were boys. Like when we were boys. Yes. If you go to Herbert Morrison, the same set of boys. Yes, yes. Right. The environment, however, is different. Yes. And probably that is why, you know, why Cornwall gets so much flock, so to speak. Yeah, because we are number one and perceived to be yes. continuously number one. Yes. And it's like Jamaica. If a fly <laughs> die, it's Bob Marley country, it's one love country. Yes, no definitely. Fly definitely. So at Cornwall College, even me walking down the street, yes. we're going to take a break and come right back. Don't go nowhere. Greetings. As a Cornwall College old boy, I'm inviting you to come to our chapel. Give me a buzz. From a baby to be christened, all the way through graduation and beyond as an old boy, here is our chapel. Come and start grooming that man of might. My name is Asta Black. Our number is 435-8401. Call me when you're ready to use our chapel for creating that man of might. Blessed. We're back with you again, Dr. Rowe. Our motto here at Cornwall College is learn or leave. Yes, sir. Do you think we should use the same thing for teachers? But Teach I, or leave? That, but, but of course, you see, the motto is for Cornwall College. Yes. Not necessarily for the boys only, no, but for the institution. Yes. If it is learn or leave, and irrespective, not only academics, Discipline as well. Discipline. Yeah, if we try to instill discipline and the young men are not learning, then the school motto should apply. Yeah. And the same thing for teachers. Yes, I do believe that. You know, um, I hear one teacher, I was up here giving, you know, serving tea, and one teacher saw um, a young man walking in with a, it was jeans day, mm -hmm. and he had on a sweatpants, mm -hmm. pretty tight. Mm -hmm. And he told the young man to go home and take off his sister pants. That wasn't good. No, that, that, that's, you see, and, and it goes right back to what I said earlier, yes. the environment. You see, we have to treat these young men with respect. Yeah, of course. And as we treat them with respect, then res the respect will reciprocate and they will respect us. Yes. I'll just give you an example. I, have, I teach a 10th grade physics class. And on a certain occasion, five boys were in my office for some misbehavior to a teacher. Yes. And I asked the young men, why is it that in my class, you participate, you're a good student. student. Yes, but in this specific class, you give trouble and say, sir, because you respect us and we respect you. Yes. You know, so it, it, it is a situation where if teachers are not respecting the student, then the students are going to retaliate yeah, yes, because true. they are boys. That's what it is. Yes. And the society now is like everyone, especially our intelligent boys that come here, yes. they notice everything. Definitely. It, Definitely. So, you know, um, I respect your work here, and I see the effort you're putting into the discipline and the management of Cornwall College. And I want to wish you everything that is best and continue doing the good work. I thank you much, my brother. Rastafari. God bless. Highly high. Okay. Dr. Rowe, don't go nowhere. Yes, that's right, man. Don't know what's outside of the dealer now. Shug it! I don't want to talk about it. Because mm -hmm. here comes a day I never wanted to face. No, baby, I can't be too play. This is one oh. time. So if you want to see it, I'll be, I'll be fine. fine. Baby, I can't be too play. So take the car, take the car, take the house If it gives you a peace of mind yeah. Baby, I love you, but I can't come home
wouldn't understand if I had to tell it that's to your face. Baby, I can't be too play since one time. So if you wanna see it, I'll be fine. Baby, I can't be too play since one time. So take the car. Let me tell you, girl, if you're leaving, just go on and leave me. A lot more fish in the sea, you feel me. I tell you from the start, you never really complete me. Especially now, look at the cards you feel me. Don't even try to come back in on my life. Don't want in on my side, pick her up in your wife. Now listen, the darling, you missed your calling. You never tell time, you should have heed the warning, yeah. Baby, I can't be too play. Everything for me ends There's no problem left us part as friends No matter how you cry I can see through your lies We should just sabotage you and I, girl I've had enough of this stress Get me out of this mess Girl, I wish you nothing less but the best Shaggy, I can't be too play Since one time So if you wanna see it I'll be Respected President of the MVP Track Club, Mr. Bruce James, and our most valued invited guests, ladies, gentlemen, and my fellow Corwanians, it is my privilege to have been asked to propose a vote of thanks on this occasion. I, on behalf of the Cornell College Old Boys Association and the entire supporting team, here together and on my own behalf, extend a very hearty vote of thanks to all speakers for gracing your important work and sharing with us your opinions today.